or scissors to trim these threads. These are called the jump stitches. My machine does not cut the jump stitches. So I need to do it manually. And then I'll get in here with detail and get all the little threads out. And I can do that off camera. I just wanted to get the ones in between because the next color would stitch over them and it makes it more challenging to trim them out. The next color I'll be stitching is red. And then while the red is going, I'll be ready to start tying the pillows onto the wreath. And then the other towel, I won't be able to finish until I fix that um, mishap. The way that I tie the pillows on is with the directional so that the bottom is towards the middle and then that way the customer whenever they receive the item they can adjust if they like to have their hanging cord in a different spot they can move it because the, the hanging cord is not permanently affixed it's just a loop. So here I just go around and tie these little pillows on. And then inevitably there's going to be more threads to trim. So I take care of that as I go too. And even when they're finished and I'm doing the photographs for my website, I usually will find more threads. So always cleaning it up. Or some of them I didn't even trim. I just have them here ready to go, and I didn't trim them yet. Right, doing good on time so far. And I think the embroidery will finish while I'm on camera, so I'll be able to show you that finished product. So I keep my Grinch only colors in this bag, so that way I have a nice variety. And then I, what the heck did I do with the other, oh, here it is. And then I just trimmed these, so these are just hanging out, laying on the table. So here's Max and Cindy Lou Who. And then here's a silhouette of Max, it's cute. For this oh here it is this is more like a kind of a taffeta see that so it's like see-through it's pretty so I'm kind of wondering do I use pretty on Grinch maybe we'll just say that's after he got his heart to grow So let's do some of that. Oops. 
I'm trying to spin it and get it back in frame for you. So what I've done is I cut all the fabric, I sewed one end, stuffed, well, cut all the fabric, sew the main seam, sew the end, stuff it, and then sew the other end. And so this is a multi-step process. Ooh, look at that nasty Grinch. Oh, Grinchy Grinch. So what I want to do is alternate the ribbon colors, alternate the pillow um, prints, so that way it has a lot of variety. And then I try to tie the ribbon in the center, but if the Grinch face is going to be completely covered, then I kind of move it a little off center. This is cute, little Max's profile, silhouette, not profile, just silhouette of his body running along with his little antlers. Every time I'm working on these, I have the Whoville song in my head. You know, at the end when they're dancing around the tree. I won't sing it because I'm not 100% certain I know the right lyrics. So there's little Max. Oh, this is fun. I'll put that one on there. Okay, let me show you the next color. So here we have the red printed, or not printed, stitched. Ah, I dropped my scissors. Nearly stabbing my foot. All right, and the next color is gonna be green. And then I can go back in and trim up the other threads as, as I need to. Okay, I'm going to just find a nice bright green. What I have at my workstation is a kind of deep uh, pine green. So I want to have something a little more vibrant. I've got plenty to choose from. And I think I'll go with this. This is more of a Christmas green. And then the machine says this stitch will take six minutes, so that will be fairly quick. All right. Get that going. And back to my wreath. Now I'm going to. Oh, let's use this one. This tree, and then there's the Grinch. This part's going to be on the back, but the tree will show. So let's put that, and then I'm probably going to have one more in here. Yahoo Flores, Yahoo Flores, welcome Christmas time is here. Okay, let me get that in frame so you can see. That's the one I just tied on, so that has a little tree there. And then I'm going to put this one right here. This one is going to be, this wreath is going to be 
extra puffy. So this one will be perfect because that Grinch word will be right there. And these little pillows are easy to adjust around the frame. Uh, do, 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 do. What color do I want to use? Let's use this silky one. Satiny light green. And I think I have one more color of green. What did I do with it? What is this? Oh, that's the empty one I kept so that I could... Oh, here we go. Oh. Look at that. Here's another one. This one is kind of fun, but I, I'll use it for the Grinch anyways. of these ready and then I'll have a little more variety available for the next ring. So on the leaf, on the leaf, why am I saying leaf? Because these are green. On the wreath it will have three layers which basically are the rings around and this one is kind of a velvety. I'm going to cut some of those too. layer. 